so this is what we do at Peerless. We're always going to start with fresh grains, fresh water, and we're going to cook those. And what that's going to form is called a mash. Basically, at this process, what we're doing is we're converting the starch within those grains into accessible sugars. Uh, once we have uh, created this mash, we're going to transfer it to a fermenter and add yeast. Yeast is a microorganism that's going to go through and it's actually going to break down the sugar into its own energy source. And as it does this, it's going to produce a byproduct called ethanol, or uh, alcohol in layman's terms, which uh, a lot of us really enjoy. So if I say that I want the top of my steel to be a certain temperature, it's going to adjust the steam, the beer flow, and the amount of chilled water going to a small condenser at the top of the column to help reproduce these conditions. And because it's constantly making modifications, it's going to be much more efficient than an operator going in and manually looking at a gauge or a dial and uh, tweaking a valve, for instance. In doing this, it's going to make for a much more consistent product and allow the distiller to really have an overview of the whole process and really push the limits to pull out as much flavor from the mash as he can without getting the wrong flavors. Everything that happens in this process is subject to disturbance. Uh, every 30 minutes, we're going to be checking every parameter on the steel. We're going to be logging everything. In addition to that, we're even looking at the weather. We want to make sure that some of these pressure fronts coming in doesn't mess with the spirit and the uh, flavor of the whiskey that's coming off. And after either two years on rye or four years on bourbon, at that point, we're going to dump it. We're going to leave it at barrel strength. At this point, there's not going to be chill filtration. There's not going to be uh, water added. I'm going to make sure the whiskey that goes in the bottle is just the same as when I tasted it in this warehouse and selected as mature.